So I remade a crappy old game of mine and made it better, I guess, or worse. Why you ask? Well, it all started when I decided to try out Unreal Engine. Now, you might remember the ancient Unity drama. Yeah, that one. Now, before you say anything, yes, obviously I would never in my life be able to make enough money for the new pricing plan to ever apply to me. But it did make me want to give other game engines a try. And what better game engine to choose than Unreal Engine 5, since I mainly focus on 3D games. So now I have an important choice to make. Blueprint or C++. If you do a simple Google search online, you will see that most Unreal tutorials are Blueprints, and most people do suggest using Blueprint, probably for good reasons. So of course, I decided to learn C++. Look, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, but this is definitely one of them. For all of you lucky ones who never use Unreal Engine C++, here's what you do. First, make some changes to your code, compile and run the game, and obviously get some errors and crash the engine. So you go to your files and delete binary, intermediate, and save. Regenerate and open the project and make some changes to your code, compile and run the game and obviously get some errors and crash the engine. So you go to your files and delete binary, intermediate and save. Regenerate and open the project and make some changes to your code. Anyway, it's time to make my first game in Unreal Engine because there's no better way to learn something than just doing it. Since Unreal Engine was originally made for making shooter games like Unreal Tournament for example, I decided to make a shooter game. Remember the Bloons Royale game I made 2 years ago? Yeah, it kinda sucked, so I think it would be a good idea to learn Unreal by remaking Bloons Royale. So finally, it's that time again. New project time. First, I need some assets for environment. And speaking of assets, remember when Unity was giving away free assets every month, which they don't do anymore? Well, in Unreal's marketplace, there's about 5 paid assets for free every single month. So yeah, I think that is already enough to make me switch to Unreal. Cause as the saying goes, if it's for free, it's for me. Uh, Julius Caesar, I guess. First, I started off making all the basic game mechanics, but I still have no idea how the game engine actually works. And because I hate myself, I'm also making it multiplayer, which means everything is gonna be 10 times harder. It looks like it's time to learn the game engine itself, C++, and also f***ing multiplayer all at once. Shut up! I played a f I swear this would have been so much easier if it wasn't multiplayer. Fast forward a month or so, I was able to get something done. Some of you who watch my videos probably know that I'm addicted to parrying. So I added bullet deflection. Sounds cool, right? Well, it would be if it was a single player game. Right now, two players can just stand there without moving and just deflect each other. And whoever has the better deflect timing, or better ping, wins. Yeah, I'm definitely winning the best gameplay of the year award with that. Game of the year. And of course, I also added a BFB boss, which I named Big Fat Bob. Pretty cool, right? But unfortunately, spoiler alert, I had to replace him later. But first, there's a problem. Since I need a multiplayer service, I have two options. The Epic Online Service or Steam. I chose Steam, but the default Steam app ID only works for testing, so in order to actually play multiplayer game with everyone around the world, I need my own Steam app ID, which is actually very easy to get. Just pay $100. <laughs> what the frick, Steam? I'm already broke as shit, so I paid $100. But little did I know that paying was the easiest part. After you paid, you have to let Steam verify your personal, personal information about tax and make a Steam page with the longest checklist I've ever seen in my life. Oh wait, now that it's gonna be on Steam, there are more problems. Who would have thought? Since I'm using models from BTD6, I will 120% get sued by Ninja Kiwi. Luckily, I found a simple solution, and that is to just give all the monkeys a new cut slap sunglasses on every one of them and called it a day. Oh, and remember the BFB I created, which I named Big Fat Bob? Well, that also had to go due to copyright issues. <laughs> Allow me to salute him for everything he has done so far for my game with a song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I wrote the script at 2am, I have no idea what's happening myself. 
Anyways, now we have Big Balloon coming instead. Uh, what am I doing with my life? Oh, and by the way, the model was AI generated. So finally, all the copyright issues have been solved. I can finally submit my game for review and game should be ready to play test in about three days or so. Or Steam can reject it. Obviously, what did I think? So after making some changes, I let Steam verify it again. And this time after three days, I checked my emails and I got rejected again. Frig you, uh, Jeremy. Wait. Hold up, wait a minute. What the fuck? The man, the myth, the steam support. Jeremy, what are the odds? Anyway, it still doesn't change the fact that this guy rejected my game. Jeremy, what the fuck? Then I added abilities and fixed the deflecting by making it an ability. Definitely not inspired by Genji. But here's the problem, the game sucks and it's not going anywhere. Why? Well, because it's a very generic battle royale, but that's not really the issue here. Because if it's not creative, the execution needs to be really good. Which is definitely not something I, a random guy who for some reason thinks he can actually make games, can do. But I smashed my keyboard, cried in the shower, and I'm back in the game, baby! By getting some inspiration and asking a few friends for some ideas, I was able to get something cooking. I came up with the idea of making a weapon upgrade system. So instead of jumping from the BAD and start looting guns like every single battle royale ever made, I made it so that everyone has a tier 1 weapon to begin with, and by finding and shooting the required balloons for the gun, you upgrade it until tier 3, which is the max tier for now. Now this isn't much, but it's something I can work with. Then after some more playtesting, everything worked. Nice. Kinda. What? The who's the left? Huh. Anyways, Draggy. Uh, what the fuck? I imagine that was not meant to happen. Well, there are issues. The most common is crashing. Sometimes the game crashes when you kill someone or when you use a specific ability. Now, I thought it wasn't too big of an issue if I can just find a cause and fix it. Well, um, that was foreshadowing, by the way. There are gonna be a lot more crashes to come. So for the next two weeks or so, I was doing some more bug fixing and polishing. And then it happened. I got help from my friend Rubby to get the most playtester in all of history. Eight players. And yeah, what happens next, you already guessed it. Since the game is server-sided and all the data need to go through the host computer and without a dedicated server, the host was crashing every 5 seconds after the game starts. So I had to reduce the player count to 5, which worked. But game was still crashing on elimination, getting killed, reloading. Oh my god. I later found out this was because I wrote many core gameplay code when I was still very inexperienced with Unreal. And also in Unreal, there's the game mode, game state, player state, player controller, player pawn, which are all required to work together. And coming from Unity, it was insane. But now that I'm more familiar with all of that, looking back, my older code was all just spaghetti codes, and then there's also the 5 to 6 player limit, and obviously a 5 player battle royale isn't very ideal, so I'm thinking about changing the game mode to an arena shooter. You still upgrade weapons with balloons, but after a specific amount of time, the boss, aka Big Balloon coming, will spawn in the middle and whichever team steals the most damage will get a killer balloon. That is totally not a MOAB on their side. Ninja Kiwi, this is AI generated, it's not what it looks like. Anyways, I guess it's safe to say that it didn't win too well for my first Unreal game. But with all of that said, I don't regret using Unreal Engine. In fact, I am even considering switching to Unreal for my game Dragony. If all goes well for this game, that is. But I don't know for sure, though one thing I know for sure is that I'm definitely gonna see the Fatal Arrow crash in my nightmares.